Hey guys, how things going? Today I'd like to work a little bit more on my Mocha build installed CPU block and as you remember we installed GPU card block last week so today I'd like to work on my motherboard and put everything in so I can start thinking about loop layout and things like this uh, also we'll put memory in I have a couple dominator blocks so that will potentially allow me to water cool memory if I want to but for now just will work on a CPU block uh, the block I will be going to use is uh, this uh, special edition AK block uh, with a Canadian maple leaf on it so it's um, something that the AK did for us specifically and um, well that's pretty much it um, I will start work on a thing uh, I don't want to make video very long so I possibly will do time lapse from time to time and then I will slow down if um, I would like to talk about something specifically. So uh, one thing that I notice uh, when I start um, assembling all parts that I need to work that uh, <clears throat> uh, for installation of the backplate because this motherboard is so small you have some additional parts that goes into um, interference with this rubber gasket and uh, that I don't really like much so what I'm going to do I, I will going to actually to cut it off and see if it will work out or not um, because I don't want um, gasket um, recover certain components uh, because they will trap air as uh, a heat and also just because I don't know some additional pressures that potentially can be unwanted right so so the basically the what I'm going to do is um, I put uh, things together as they should be and um, as you can see on this side this uh, rubber gasket is kind of, kind of weird shape because of the all this component around so so what I'm going to do is um, I just mark all additional stuff and um, I'll see maybe I'll just cut it off and um, let's see how, how it goes and um, it will actually break the gasket because uh, it became smaller but potentially it spare me from all this um, unwanted interference it's like one millimeter left I don't even know if it was trying or just cut it off well, I'll try I'll see how this goes so well it's almost good on one side and still interfere with a few things on the other side so Here you go. Now I touch nothing. The whole thing provide adequate support for me. So. Okay, let me find the ones I need. Calls for LGA LGA 2011, but I, I need the universal version.
Uh, close enough. Okay. Okay, now we already counted price of CPU block. So that's part taken care of. No, I don't need that. I need something else. We have here forty six seventy. Yeah, that's good enough for this little computer. It's so tiny. Comparing with um, LG, LG 2011, I used to work last couple of builds. Okay. Now, so the card is going like this. And um, so from this window, I see nothing. From this window, I see CPU block. So I want Maple Leaf to go like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, card this side, maple leaf this side. I was thinking maybe I was supposed to put those um, spacers. That's why it doesn't go that well in the, in the back plate. But I have only one. What the hell? Um, let me check with uh, other block and see. Maybe this is incomplete package. Yeah, sure enough supposed to be four washers but this package was open for a while and uh, I might just lose them so well as much as I don't like to do it I'll, I'll better to remount it, it proper way and let's see how our stuff Yeah, not enough paste anyways. Maybe I do pea size. 
amounting for a, for a change so you guys will be happy why not okay but for now let's, let's remove this stuff if we can Which probably wouldn't be that easy after I tighten them so well there is my giant Lumber plus two. If I would read instructions, I actually would see it right away, but who reads instructions? Nobody do it, right? We just do things and and after that we correct mistakes. <laughs> Typical. All right. Part number two. Oops. I think that's too much. No luck today with the installation. A set time should be a charm. Oh, that's about right. Okay. As requested by many YouTube viewers, I'm doing P-size installations this time to make you happy. And the result will be the same, but um, why not? Three, where's number four? Seems I'm losing everything today from my installation package. No washers, missing one cup. Oh well. Okay, we go tighten it in a cross manner, as we know, this is the best way. This is easy mounting, um, you don't need to measure anything. If you watch my old movie um, videos, you probably remember that I measured how much tension I have and what the distance is. This one, you just go to the very end of it and uh, it's supposed to be perfectly even. So, I'm trying to see if I have any thermal paste on the sides, but I guess not. Okay. Also, I usually test hardware before I do water cooling, but because this build already behind, um, I would like to accelerate things a little bit. Um, 
and if it doesn't work well so be it we'll disassemble everything okay so we're, we're done with this looks good what I need to now to remove um, those heat sinks because So water cool memory as well. Doesn't happen all the time with you guys. You do something and then oh, I don't have this screwdriver, and you run around like crazy. Oh look, I have something here. Maybe it will fit by accident. <laughs> no, it's one. Okay, and that quest for the right screwdriver. All right. Have this uh, bit power block that I actually plan to use. Um, I wish they had a version which is a copper, but they don't, so I don't know. Maybe I will send it, but maybe not. But what's most important, we have, we have something here that should help us. Yay! Use dominators because uh, they already have a uh, heat spreaders that uh, works with uh, water cooling blocks. But um, if you don't, uh, you have memory, some other type, you still can water cool it. You just need to replace heat spreaders yourself, which pose additional risk because you need to be careful when when you replace um, your heat spreaders but it's still possible that's that's my point but I'm thinking maybe I'll just reuse those thermal pads right here oh I will not they like cheap piece of shit um, that's falling apart right away so I'll just use what uh, bits power provided Actually, I will not do it because I'm not sure if I'll use this block or not. Because, because what we have here. No, it's actually opposite way. So, well, we still have some silver, so it's, I guess it's okay to a certain degree. Oops, should be careful here. But I'm thinking maybe, maybe black block will be work better. Because black is a little bit too shiny. No, this is even worse. No, not a good idea. That's option is a K, but a K a little bit ugly. Yeah, it's power for sure. Oh, another option. I switch to, I put block, which is a, has a silver uh, nickel plated as well, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not. Let's try fittings too, to see how it looks. Bronze age fitting I'm going to use them uh, here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see, but uh, still look pretty sick. It's pretty cool. The question is how it will look all together.
Yeah, a little bit mess, let's say. Let's try to see how plated block look. I think it might be actually better than copper. So we have a um, copper version. Fittings. Plated version with fittings. And I don't know how you think about it. I really like I really like plated variant. I think it's pretty sick. I think this is the way to go, honestly. Yeah, I'm going for silver. I'm still going with bronze age fittings, but silver looks much nicer. Which means that our block installation is yet to be redone again. Let's see how P size mount did work. Oh, same sheet, even worse than mine. Now I'm back to spreading. I see a lot of guys replaced original stickers uh, recently on SSDs and the memory. Pretty cool. Um, I think interesting trend. I'm personally a little bit lazy to do it, so I'll skip on that. Okay. Nice. Now I'm satisfied. Takes me a while. totally satisfied and on that note I actually will do proper heat sink uh, I mean um, thermal pads I have real high 20 watt type of graphite thermal pads that are really perfect for memory Yeah, they're cool. I, I, I don't understand why they're not that popular. It's a really cool color. Right. Let's look how things look inside of the case. Oh, that's getting heavy. This little motherboard is already pretty heavy. Let's put the motherboard in to see how things look. Show you other side. That's how it 
the looks of his uh, graphical card installed. Okay, sounds good. I need to clean the table so I can start working on other things, uh, mostly wiring. <laughs> 